Hi everybody. So what uh, we're going to be doing today is um, showing you how to do a virtual, how to create a virtual computer in uh, in your own computer. And there's a number of different advantages in this. Uh, you know, uh, primarily, uh, you know, you can test different operating systems. Uh, or you can install different versions of a given software. And in, in order to do this, we are going to use something called Virtual Box, which is an open source software. Now, uh, because you know it takes a long time to install the the not so much the Virtual Box, but the operating system for the new computer. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be demonstrating everything, but I, I'm going to give you, you know, tips along the steps. So just to make sure that, you know, we're all on the same page in relation to what I mean in relation to, uh, you know, installing a virtual computer. Imagine that this rectangle is your computer, okay? So it's your hard drive. What we're going to be doing is to install a software inside your uh, computer. So it basically takes a portion of the, the hard drive uh, and it simulates, it makes uh, um, your computer believe that there is another computer inside it. Okay. So inside this little new computer, because it really acts as a, 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 a new computer, uh, you can then install an operating system. So uh, I'll show you, uh, you know, how you can do that with Windows XP. But it could be Linux, it could be you know, almost anything. And then inside this little computer, you can start also installing uh, other types of stuff. Okay? So basically, that's the idea. So let's take a look at how we can do this. So the first thing you have to do is to uh, search for virtual box. And uh, once you get to virtual box, you're going to look at uh, uh, downloads and uh, if you are using a uh, I'm, I'm, I'm running this on Windows 7 you're going to choose this x86 AMD uh, 64 initially I thought this was a 64-bit uh, uh, so this computer that I, where I'm running things is not really uh, uh, it's a 32-bit but actually works so Anyway, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused with some. Now, I'm not going to download this file because you know, it's going to take you know, over a minute. Uh, I'm just going to cancel this. But I want to tell you that this file here, it's just a regular installation. Okay? So basically, all you do is you double click on the executable file, um, and uh, you know, VirtualBox will be uh, you know, installed. So I'm going to come from the, the assumption that you know you have already installed a virtual box and you're happy with the software. And now I'm going to show you kind of the general step on how to uh, you know install the operating system inside VirtualBox. Now keep in mind, uh, once you install VirtualBox, it will be a computer, but it will be an empty computer. So the first thing you have to do is to install an operating system. In this case, uh, Windows X. So first thing is uh, I'm gonna you know just open VirtualBox uh, as a software. And let's see what's, here we go. Uh, and uh, we have VirtualBox here. Now, as you can see, I already have a, uh, an instance of um, uh, Windows XP uh, installed right here. Uh, when you first open up uh, VirtualBox, you will not have anything. So let's pretend, you know, this thing here didn't exist. Well, basically what you do to create your new computer is you, you're just going to click here, New, then Next. Then I'm going to say I want to create uh, a new computer with Microsoft Windows and Windows XP. And I'm going to call this um, whatever. My XP. 
it's going to suggest a few things. Take their suggestions. Uh, keep the same thing, so good hard disk. So I'm not changing anything, I'm just clicking next. Okay. So I'm just taking their uh, So next. Dynamically expand storage. I would definitely choose that option. Basically, what this means is that uh, you know, as you need more memory or more uh, you know hard drive memory uh, inside your your computer, it will expand uh, as you need. There are some uh, issues, performance issues in relation to this, but you know, I wouldn't mind that at all at this point. Just click next, 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 uh, and then finish. Now, once you have done that. Uh, you know, your new computer will be right here. So, as you can remember, you know, XP was my old computer, uh, and now I have a new computer. So, now back to our scheme here. Keep in mind, at this point, all we have is, uh, you know, we have VirtualBox. We have a computer inside VirtualBox. You can create multiple computers inside VirtualBox. But this computer uh, that we have created, the MyXP, does not have an operating system. Okay, so basically, what you have to do right now is to take an operating system. Again, I took uh, Windows XP. Uh, put in, uh, uh, insert uh, the Windows XP in your uh, uh, CD drive, and then uh, once you are going to select your new computer, uh, and uh, you are just going to click on Start. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Well, I'm not going to do it, but you are going to do it. Basically, what you uh, basically what you you know what happens when you click start. Again, I I just don't want to install another version of Windows in my computer. We already have three <laughs> uh, or, or two. Uh, but what what you know? Imagine that uh, you know since you have a virtual computer here, whenever you click on start. All you're doing is you're booting your computer up. Okay. So imagine like you know just buying a regular computer uh, out of the store, and then you know you're opening it up. This is basically what you're doing. Now, once you do it and you have the Windows CD in your CD drive, all you're going to be doing is to install Windows. You're going to be installing a new version of uh, Windows. Now, I'm not going to be going over with you, uh, first because it takes a long time uh, on how to install Windows, but, you know, if you go to any browser and you search for something such as uh, Springs, say, Windows XP installation, uh, you know, you will get a bunch of sites. I'm just going to show you one of them. Uh, but it will show you, you know, step by step, screen by screen, exactly, you know, what you should uh, uh, be looking at. And again, you have a virtual computer, but it's basically exactly the same thing. It's as if you were doing this in a regular computer. Okay. So now let's just assume, for the sake of uh, argument, that you know you have successfully installed uh, uh, Windows uh, XP. Or something else to your computer. So now I'm going to do this. Uh, you know, since I have installed uh, Windows to this this virtual computer here, uh, which is called XP, all I'm going to do is to boot the computer. Again, I'm not doing anything with the software. Don't think about a software. Think about a computer. I have a computer here. So now uh, it says here that my computer is powered off. I'm going to say uh, start. And uh, it's going to give me this screen uh, primarily. Well, first time you do it, it will show you this screen. This kind of what it's telling me is that uh, you know my mouse at this point is still within my own computer. It's not inside my virtual computer. I'm going to say OK. And then, uh, as you will notice. Uh, let me take my CD out of my computer here. That's not all on. I don't want to install it again. Okay, took it out. But uh, uh, as you can see here, it's just booting a computer. Okay, 
So again, as I mentioned before, there's absolutely no difference between what I am doing now and uh, you know just opening a new computer. The only difference is that this new computer is inside your own computer. Okay. And basically, this is what. Uh, so it's just telling me that uh, you know my mouse is external, the same message as before. Uh, my mouse is external. So if I click OK. Uh, my virtual computer is booting right now. So let's just wait a little bit. Hopefully. So it you know I click again on that screen, and uh, it's just you know now my mouse is inside this computer, and I'm waiting for the computer to completely boot up so that I can start you know start installing software, uh, doing all sorts of uh, different things. Um, yep, looks like it's coming. As you can see now, you know, this mouse here. And here you go. So, you know, again, keep in mind, this is a new computer. This is a completely new computer. And if I come over here, if I come over here, you know, I can click inside my computer. I can open all sorts of software. Notice, uh, for those of you who are familiar with XP, this is the background for uh, Windows XP. The computer uh, uh, in which I installed VirtualBox is a Windows 7. So again, I'm literally talking about a different computer. I'm being repetitive, am I not? Okay, I'll stop talking back. <laughs> I have a new computer. Uh, and then here, you know, you can install all sorts of software. You can do things as uh, you know business as you. Anyway, hope this was helpful um, and uh, that you guys enjoyed it. Bye.